Gartner Knight, and co host and consumer reporter of the list, explains how to get the most bang for your dining buck. I'm pretty good at deal hunting, but in the kitchen, I have no idea what I'm doing. So, I eat out. A lot. And there are a few key ways I save money doing it. First, I put all of my dining expenditures on a credit card that gets bonus points for dining out. I use the Chase Sapphire Preferred, which gets me two points a dollar on all dining. I book every reservation I can on OpenTable.com. It doesn't matter if I know there are going to be tables available, I always make the reservation because every reservation gets you 100 points. As soon as you hit 2,000, OpenTable sends you a check for 20 bucks. Occasionally, restaurants will offer 1,000 point tables as a promotion, so if you dine at just two of those, you made $20. I enroll all of my credit cards in a mileage dining program like United. When I swipe my card, any card, it doesn't have to be a United one, I'm earning miles at select restaurants. Now, I'm not going to go out of my way to eat at a restaurant that awards miles, but a lot of them do, and so when those miles show up, it's a nice surprise. I'll occasionally use Groupon or Living Social deals to try new restaurants, and I'll buy certificates on Restaurant.com if I see a place I like. By the way, never pay full price for a certificate on Restaurant.com. Every other day they offer codes. Ultimately, I still spend a lot of money eating out. But using a combination of all of these tricks, at least I feel like I'm saving a little bit of money. And no matter what, it's cheaper than burning down my kitchen. Not bad. Or ending up in the hospital with salmonella. <laughs> Boy, that was dangerous. I can't imagine. I don't even want to know. It was delicious. I, I want to know what your kitchen looks like. <laughs> well, joining us now, the man behind the savings co host of the list, Connor Knighton. And you know what, Connor? Uh, first of all, thanks for joining us. Oh, of course. Living yeah, Live. Thanks for having it's me. quite the honor. Um, so, the best deal out there, really. Um, what is it? I mean, there there are options. I mean, I you gave us a lot of great ideas, but what's your favorite place to go to really save the best deal? Well, what I like about some of those options is you can stack them. So just in one trip dining out, if you book that table on Open Table, that's potentially a thousand points, ten dollars. You pay with your cashback credit card, that's another two percent that you're making back. You use a coupon from uh, Restaurants.com, so you can and and enroll it in United Dining. So and that's, that's just one dining. That's one experience. dining experience. So, yeah. so they're all very stackable, which is nice, which is what I like about it. Yeah. Now what about about um, expiration dates, because mm -hmm. I find, like, especially with the Groupon thing, I always forget. Um, you know, when, when you're doing stuff like that, are, are there any expiration dates on getting some of these deals online? There are. Um, that we should be aware of. Totally. Well, and Groupon in particular, if your uh, Groupon expires, it's always still good for the value that you paid for it. So let's say you buy 15 to save 30. Right. Eventually, that 30 goes away, but it's still always worth at least what you paid for it. So you'll get you'll get 15 bucks at that yogurt shop or so, whatever you paid for yeah, it. Yeah. So it's still green. It's still it's something. It's something. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. One question mm -hmm. um, when it comes to booking tables online. Yes. I kind of always wonder, they don't give you a lot of options. Isn't it better just to call them? I mean, if you're looking for like a special occasion or you really want like a romantic table or one by the, the window, sure, call them. But I'm the opposite. I'll stand in front of a restaurant that I know has space. I see every table available and I'll go on my little app and book a table just so I can get the 100 points for that dime. You will? No. Oh, because it's worth it to do it. It's worth it because if you do it enough, it adds up. Although I'll tell you, my favorite restaurant in Phoenix is actually the Sonoran Living Studio because I'll wait <laughs> until you have these chefs come through and then I'll just hang out and scavenge and pick your leftovers. So the best dining deal in Phoenix is working <laughs> next door and being able to eat here. Which, which you picked a bad day to be here then yes, today, yes, right? Exactly. I, I'll, I'll starve. <laughs> Well, you're going to be starving anyway, because uh, uh, maybe you should actually get some cooking classes on Groupon. That would be so you, you can know, actually learn how to cook. You're right, but cooking for one, it's always challenging. I, I don't know. know. Also, I'm new to Phoenix, so I like going to a lot of different restaurants. A lot of here. exploring. Well, well, you, the next thing you need to do is tell us your favorite restaurant, so we'll so we'll know where to eat. But thank you so much, Connor. Thank you for really me. appreciate it. And of course, you can catch Connor and the rest of the list team every afternoon right here on ABC 15 at 4:30. Well, no, 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 you left this hanging. What is your favorite place to eat so far? Favorite place. I went to, it's, oh gosh, what's it called? Olive and something? It's in Scottsdale. Oh, Olive uh, and uh, Ivy? Maybe? Olive and, and Ivy. That was really okay. tasty. They had like yeah. some, some music outdoors. I like that. And if you like the Fox Restaurant Group, you can buy their gift certificates at Costco. You pay 80, you get 100. Okay. So that's been yeah. You're buying, right? Oh, of course. Okay, Great. I'm yeah. flying with you. We're